start. Current Affairs Snippets, 12th August 2022. International News. Astronaut sends in Independence Day greetings to India from space station. Government shares video. Russia successfully launched Iran's satellite into orbit. State News. Kerala government to launch mobile app to curb GST evasion. Rishabh Pant appointed as the state, state brand ambassador of Uttarakhand. Nitish Kumar steps down as CM of Bihar, dissolves coalition with BJP. Yeah, but of course now he has taken charge as a chief minister again with, um, say, Tejasvi as deputy chief minister also. Thank you. Continue. Appointments news. Amit Barman steps down as the ch chairman of Dabar. Mm -hmm. Banking news. RBI cancelled the license of Rupee Cooperative Bank, Pune. The Reserve Bank of India has cancelled the license of Pune-based Rupee Cooperative Bank Limited as the lender does not have adequate capital and earning prospects. However, the RBA said that in compliance to an order of the High Court of Bombay, its direction will become effective after six weeks. The license has been cancelled because the bank does not have adequate capital and earning prospects and as such, it does not comply with certain provisions of the Banking Regulation Act 1949. Good. Continue. HDFC Bank inks an agreement with Threats platform M1 Exchange. Economy news. In India, 7.3% of the population owned digital currency in 2021. Over 7% of India's population owns digital currency, according to the United Nations, which said the use of cryptocurrency rose globally at an unprecedented rate during the COVID-19 pandemic. Ukraine topped the list with 12.7%, followed by Russia, Venezuela, Singapore, Kenya and the US. In India, 7.3% 7, 7 of the population owned digital currency in 2021, ranking 7th in the list of top 20 global economies for digital currency ownership as a share of the population. Good. Continue. India's GDP growth to be fastest in Asia in financial year 23, says Morgan Stanley. Mm. According to analysts at Morgan Stanley, India's GDP growth will average 7.7 percentage during this time, which is the strongest among the largest economies. And India will contribute 28% and 22% to both Asian and global growth, respectively. This makes India the fastest growing Asian economy in the Asian region in 2022-23. They claimed that due to the release of dormant demand, the Indian economy is poised for its strongest performance in more than a decade. Science and Technology News Spark, new virtual space museum launched by ISRO. Uh, who the chairman of ISRO is Mr. S. Somanath. Mr. S. Somanath. Yeah, continue. Microsoft and the government of India intend to train computer skills to civil servants. Awards news. Senior Congress leader Shashi Tharoor to receive France's highest civilian award. Sports news. Sunil Chetri, Manisha Kalyan named men's and women's footballer of the year. Real Madrid. Uh, Real Madrid beat Eintracht Frankfurt 2-0 to win 2022 UEFA Super Cup. Important days. World Elephant Day observed globally on 12th August. <clears throat> 
International Youth Day celebrated on 12th August. Mm. Obituary. Obituary news. AI ADM case first MP Maya Tevar passes away. Miscellaneous news. Umid Marketplace launched by Manoj Sinha as part of Afsar program. How, sir? How, sir? Program. Lieutenant Governor is Manoj Sinha. There is Jammu and Kashmir. Continue. Former. Oh, Former West Indies skipper Kieron Pollard, <coughs> first cricketer to play 600 T20 matches. Yes. Tamara Walcott lifts 737.5 kg to break powerlifting Guinness World Record. Thank you. Thank you so much. You have done very well. <coughs> Thank yes, you. Thank when you. can we expect the interviews to be scheduled? I think by this month end or next month beginning. Yes, sir. I have no information definitely about that because <coughs> I will do one thing. Mm. 